to enter a formula, the first thing you want to do is select a blank cell where you want your formula to live. Then we type an equal sign. This tells Excel that we're going to type a formula. Then we choose the cells we want included in the formula by clicking them. And you'll see that when I click a cell, it automatically enters the coordinates of the cell here in the formula, and it puts a blue outline around it here. Then we type the function we want to use. In this case, if we want to add 2 plus 2, we're going to type a plus sign. If we wanted to subtract, we would type a minus. If you want to multiply, you type an asterisk, which is right above the 8 on your keyboard. And if you want to divide, you type a backslash, which is beneath the question mark on your keyboard. But in this case, we want to add, so I'm going to type a plus. And then you click the next cell you want included, which in this case is B5. And you'll see that it enters the coordinates here, gives it a different color code. If this is all we want in our formula, we just hit return and it will show us the result. To get back in and edit the formula, just double click the cell that has the formula in it and it will pop you back into the formula view. The trick to working in formula cells is that to get out of them, you always want to either hit return or tab. If you click somewhere else to get out, all it's going to do is add that new cell to your formula, which is not what you want. If you make a mistake or if the formula gets goofed up, all you have to do is hit escape and it'll get you out of the formula without saving any changes. You can reuse a formula by copying and pasting it. Let's say I want to add 3 and 3 here. I already have this cell which contains the formula for adding the two cells above it. So if I just right click, copy, and then click in this blank cell here and paste, you'll see that it copied the formula over and it's referencing the two cells above. So I have my result, which is 6. And if I double click into this cell, I'll see the formula, and I'll see that it highlights the two cells that are being used in the formula. To delete a formula, just select the cell, right click, and choose Clear Contents. To add up a large group of numbers, the easiest thing to do is use the Auto Sum feature, which is right here in the toolbar. First, select a blank cell where you want your result to be then click Auto Sum, and you'll see that Excel guessed at which cells you wanted included in your sum formula, and it put a blue outline around them. If it guessed right, all you have to do is hit Return. If it guessed wrong, you can put your mouse right on the corner of this blue outline and drag it to choose which cells are being included in the formula. In this case, though, it did guess correctly the first time, so all I need to do is hit Return, and it gives us our result there. If I want to edit the auto sum formula, I just need to double click this cell. I'll see the formula again, and I can drag this blue outline around to edit the cells that are included.